What's going on everyone and today we're going to be checking out AVN versus Raptorium versus Monero Ocean CPU mining. Before I get into this I just want to point out if you plan on shopping on Amazon or even Parallel Miner or anything be sure to use one of the links in the description that greatly helps out the channel. Now moving forward the other day I just dropped the video of mining on Monero Ocean for seven days we looked at some CPU mining profitabilities and then the week before I believe it was AVN and the week before that I mined Raptorium for a week. So now I want to kind of compare all three of them together and see what is the most profitable way to mine and what you should do with the coins that you actually get. If you are unfamiliar with any of these coins or platforms, then, you know, Raptorium, quick sum up here. I enjoy it myself. I'm really bullish on Raptorium, and I know if you're a follower of the channel, you know that. But Raptorium, it came out and it made CPU mining really, really profitable. And there were times when you know my cpu rigs were making more than rtx 3090 gpus it was insane and you know what moving into the future after ethereum gpu mining could eventually just die off completely you know what it may happen it's still too soon to tell but it's a possibility but raptorium has really really active devs which is good and what you want to see on a coin it's not listed on too too many exchanges yet but the devs are working on that smart contracts are coming later on this year they're also working on an mmo game that utilizes raptorium as currency so you know it's pretty insane and good things look like it's coming avn i don't know too much on avn myself uh it's most likely it's a it's a fork of a fork of a fork, which if you're unfamiliar, you know there's Bitcoin, then Ravencoin forked off Bitcoin, and then Ravencoin Lite, or not Ravencoin Lite, Ravencoin Classic forked off of Ravencoin, and then Ravencoin Lite forked off of Ravencoin Classic, and then you got AVN, which was before Ravencoin Lite, and now rebranded as AVN. So that's kind of the quick sum up of AVN. Some of you guys really love that coin. Some of you are up in the air about it, and some of you aren't sure. Myself, I'm still not sure. You know, I don't really like forks of forks of forks, especially when you have no future. Their white paper says to be announced. They don't know which direction they want to go yet, but it is 100% spec mineable. People love it, and if they do take the coin in a good direction and they're nice and active, you know, it does have a bright future if it is implemented the right way. And then we got Monero Ocean. So it's a profit switching pool. Uh, it benchmarks your CPUs. It checks the difficulty, hash rate, price of a whole bunch of coins that it does support. And then it points your CPU by itself to a coin that it'll be thinking will making you the most and then it converts that to the hash rate of XMR and pays you out in XMR. Now depending what you want to do later on, myself when I do use Monero Ocean, I take that XMR and I just exchange that into Raptorium and then from Raptorium I do put that into the Raptorium Smart Nodes which is one of the you know highest percentage based staking type of things that you can currently do with any crypto. What's Ethereum? 4% uh, you know a lot of other ones three percent five percent six percent this is actually at like 38 or 39 percent so it's a high percentage amount now let's look at my rigs because a lot of people don't really know what i'm running and you know a lot of you that follow the channel you know what i'm running so right here i got six 3900x cpus two 3950x cpus one 3900x down there one 3900x hanging out here and i got my workstation which is a 5950x grand total that is 11 cpus eight 3900x's two 3950x's and one single 5950x all right guys so let's jump into my workstation and compare these coins and see what my profitability was across these three coins for the past three weeks and you know how much total i did make oh and i better answer the question before it's asked because it usually gets asked in every single video the price to build one complete rig so that's motherboard cpu ram everything with the power supply it's about the same price as buying an aib version of an rtx 3070 so it's anywhere between the eight eight hundred to a thousand dollars mark depending where you are and that is canadian prices some of these cpus i found for only 450 dollars a piece and just to add up everything i mine off these currently right now moving forward uh is 100 profit minus the power about 110 watts uh, per cpu here and total with everything running i am around probably the 1150 to 1200 watt range 
for CPU. So calculate that to whatever your power cost is and you can work out how much power I am using. But all my CPUs, they have ROI themselves two or three times over already in the past six months. So uh, in terms of how much it costs to build a rig and if I'm paying them off, my rigs are ROI, everything is pure profit minus power from this day forward, or actually for the past couple months moving forward. Okay guys, so here's my spreadsheet. I got AVN, Raptorium, and Monero Ocean Air as well as total, so I can get a total of everything I did make the past three weeks or 21 days of CPU mining. Uh, USD as well as Canadian value. I'm gonna be using current prices right now. We're gonna be doing this uh, on the fly here so you guys can see exactly how I'm doing this. So you know that I'm not you know, lying to you on prices because if I use prices from previous times, one might be higher and then it would have an odd advantage. So if I was to sell everything right now, this is how the prices we're looking at. So let's just start with Monero Ocean. You can see right here, uh, total is 0 0.419941 for the seven days here. So I'm going to go up to Monero Ocean, and here I have it set in already. USD value is $62.42. So we're going to come into our actual thing, $62.42. 42. Now we do got to get our Canadian value because, you know, I'm from Canada. I want to know how much I made in my own funds, obviously, and there's a lot of Canadians out there as well. So let's go down. Canadian dollar, that is $79.03. $79.03, 0.03. So Monero Ocean, one week. That's not too, too bad. Now let's have a look at Raptorium. Click the old Raptorium button. We have 2,927.704 coins. That was on January 3rd to January 9th. Seven day profits here. So 2,927.704 going to Raptorium here. USD value of that is $55.86. So let's plug that in. Let me just take another look here. So 55.86, Raptorium 55.86. And of course, we got to get our Canadian number. Go down, Canada, find Canadian. Why are you always hiding, Canada? Come on. $70.91. So 70.91, boom. 70.91 that's not too bad so there's two weeks done now let's check out avn okay moving on to avn now uh looks like a total here for avn january 11th to the 17th 61,461.13327 coins i already got that punched into here on the good old nomics and that works out to 45 dollars and 10 cents so 45 10 Jump back to my profits. Where are you, AVN? 4510. And let's see. I'm not sure if it has a Canadian value here. So hopefully it does. Come on, USD. Oh, you're hiding on me. All right. Looks like I'm going to have to do a manual conversion here. So $45.10. We're just going to have to put in USD to CAD. And that looks like $57.12. So we're going to punch that in here. $57.12 Canadian. So there's how much I made on each coin individually for seven days mining in the past three days. So AVN, $45.10 USD, $57.12 Canadian. Raptorium, $55.86 USD, $70.91 Canadian. And Monero Ocean was $62.42 USD. And Canadian uh, counterpart was $79.03. Now I can add this up manually or I can just let the spreadsheet do it itself because that would be easier. So I'm going to go equal sum, you know, a bracket here. And then I'm just going to scroll down like so, put a bracket on the other side. Bam, we got our answer. Nice. Here I'm going to do the exact same thing. Equal sum, bracket, scroll down these three numbers here, put the bracket enter so there's our totals guys if you want to pause it do it on your calculator it's going to equal the same okay guys so here are the totals 163 dollars and 38 cents usd for 21 days three weeks and canadian value is 207 dollars and six cents now some of you guys can be like that's not very profitable or you know that's actually a lot better than i thought cpus would do and all this stuff and remember we're also in a bear market all these crypto prices are down so before i was making a lot more than this but you know this is still pretty decent and moving forward if this was gpus after the end of ethereum mining i could literally just go into here put a negative in front of all these numbers because gpu mining is going to become unprofitable i know as hard as it is to believe that you just don't want to believe it 
GPUs are literally, they're going to die, guys. I mean, I just want to slowly bring that out. I'm working on the numbers. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that video. But it's going to happen. I think CPUs could potentially become more profitable than GPUs unless, uh, uh, you know, about 60% of the complete hash rate across every single coin, they all sell off all their rigs and those GPUs hit the market and they just quit mining because that's what it's going to take because I don't think a coin has the potential to hold any amount of hash rate coming in. So let me know your comments below. How do you think GPU mining is going to compare once you can no longer mine Ethereum anymore? All right, guys. So there we have it. Those are my past 21 days CPU mining profits, and that is AVN versus Raptorium versus Monero Ocean, you know, to see who is the top profitable way to go in today's market. So let me know, what do you guys think in the comments? What are you mining? Are you even CPU mining? Are you only GPU mining? I got GPUs in there, down there, uh, a couple in there, you know, GPUs. I do a little bit of everything. Uh, I'm running these CPU miners off of this HP server power supply, five of them. I got a little bit of Chia mining, not profitable. I'll go through that sometime here in the future. I keep forgetting I'm even mining Chia because I hate mining on Windows. That rig three, it's on Windows and I don't like it. I got, I'm gonna throw that thing out. Like seriously, I get so frustrated every time I come to check this rig. Windows is absolutely horrible, guys. Don't do it. <laughs> but yeah, uh, here we are. These are my rigs and what do you guys think? Are you mining your CPUs? Are you not mining on CPUs, GPUs only? What do you think the future of crypto mining in general is gonna look like? Is everyone gonna be ASIC mining or whatever? Thank you for watching guys. I'll see you on the next one grab it out thank you for watching everyone if you haven't please comment subscribe and like this video as well as check out one of these other videos if you have not seen it yet i do try to stream every saturday and sunday so stay tuned for more future content